Hey everybody, Dan Moran here from Concierge Diamonds. Uh, something we see a lot is people looking for alternatives to diamonds for their center stone, for their engagement rings, for a lot of reasons. Sometimes people choose to use an, a different stone, a non-traditional engagement ring stone, and that's great. But there are some stones you should avoid. Not so much for aesthetic reasons, obviously you like what you like, but for practical reasons. Uh, probably the number one stone to avoid is opal. Opal is a beautiful stone. It has a really unique and interesting and and a fascinating look to it, but it's not very practical. And the reason for that is that it's extremely soft and brittle. It's very, very easy to chip, crack, or scratch your opal. And so if you have a large opal center stone, before you know it, it's just gonna be destroyed. It will not survive daily wear. Similarly, tanzanite, very, very fragile. You so much as breathe on that stuff wrong, and it'll break. Uh, other stones like moonstones, again, kind of the same story. What I would encourage you to do when you're considering alternative engagement ring stone is to check the Mohs hardness scale. You can Google Mohs hardness scale and see where on the scale your stone uh, that you're thinking about lies. The hardest that you can get is a diamond, which is a 10 on the, on the Mohs scale. And below that, you'll have things like sapphire and ruby, which is about a nine, uh, also plenty hard for everyday use. Uh, below that, you'll see the corundum family where you'll see, or the barrel family rather, where you'll see emerald and and uh, Heliodor and uh, Aquamarine and, and Morganite and other stuff like that. Those are still okay, a little bit more fragile, so you have to be more careful. Anything really below that, anything below about a seven on the Mohs scale, I think you have to be very, very uh, careful about considering as an engagement ring stone. It's just not practical for everyday wear. Maybe save stones like that for earrings or necklaces or something that's not as much in harm's way as a ring, because you know people move their hands a lot and they tend to bump them on things. So. Something you really do need to think about as you're, as you're designing the engagement ring of your dreams is not just how will it look, but how will it last throughout my life? Because this is a ring that somebody you love will be wearing every day forever. Just my two cents. I hope it helps. Dan Moran here from Concierge Diamonds. Thanks.